Blessings to you all. Welcome to the Raw Vegan Guru channel, where we are raising our health consciousness one dish at a time. Today I wanted to share with you one of my rare exceptions that I do a few times a year, whether it's a Indian restaurant, which is um, probably the only restaurant I'd go to, although I'm very open to um, other ethnic foods. I would um, dig something that I've never tried before, but I always am drawn by magnetism back to the um, Indian, preferably usually Northern Indian. So today is one of my exceptions. It is Christmas, the year 2020, and I cooked a blue pumpkin here, and then I always bring in my raw element. So for my salad, I have baby spinach, um, sprouted pea shoot, fresh turmeric, uh, serrano, and habanero pepper, and then a little paprika and black pepper. So very simple base here. So this is almost like my uh, rice version when you get an Indian dish and you top it with your chana masala or vindaloo, vind vindaloo, 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 the spicy uh, mixed vegetable one. So what I did is I cut my pumpkin and I hollowed it out. I saved the seeds because I always do um, with everything that I utilize. And then I stuffed the pumpkin with tomato, chili peppers, and fresh chickpeas. So the only reason I brought in the tomato, because I never eat cooked tomato, um, unless it's one of these exceptions in a um, specific dish, is because I wanted to bring in that moisture to help cook the chickpeas and um, soften up the inner uh, meat, as you can say, in the pumpkin. So it worked very well. And as you can see, let me get my angle over here on, it's very hot out of the oven. Uh, the flesh here is very soft, so I'm going to be able to take that right away from that skin real nice and easy. So what I usually do when I cook one of these squash dishes is I just scoop out my squash and whatever else I have going on and mixed uh, within. And then I'm going to simply top it on my salad. So I'm always going to have my raw element and I'm going to get my living energy. But like I said, this is just an exception um, on Thanksgiving and on Christmas for me. I will usually cook a nice uh, organic squash, a nice different strange uh, to the mind or memory heirloom squash. Uh, something just unique, and everyone um, cooks a little bit differently and has its different characteristics, and it's really exciting and fun. So as you can see, I'm just going to take my innards and some of my meat, and I'm going to top it on my salad. And then for a little bit more moisture, I've squeezed some lemon, so I will squirt some uh, lemon here around to uh, give it a little bit more lubrication throughout. And this is one of my favorite things to do every year, especially on Christmas. The spices that I used in this pumpkin was chili pepper. Then I used a little bit of a British curry blend, uh, which had a coriander and turmeric in there and a little black pepper and lemon, I believe. And then I had cardamom cinnamon, a little nutmeg, allspice, and um, black volcanic Hawaiian sea salt, just for a little uh, zest, a little difference. So that's the simplicity of this. I set my timer and it did take a while to cook because of the chickpeas. So I had this cooking, um, it was at 354 over an hour and a half, about an hour and 40 minutes or so. But as you can see, it's just out, it's steaming, it's really coming away from the outer skin very nicely. And this will make a great reheat, re reheat dish. But usually what I do is I will jar the um, remnants and then I'll just use that uh, room temperature on my salads as I move and groove uh, through the week. So that 
is my cooked squash, a little Indian influence and flair between the chickpeas and the spices used because I'm always drawn back to uh, something with my former life, uh, something with cycles and um, previous moments that bring me back to India. So this is one of my rare exceptional uh, dishes that I celebrate. And I don't usually do any cooked dishes on this channel, but you know what? You got to be able to make some exceptions. Sometimes you have to enjoy the holidays. And if you deprive yourself of things that you truly connect with or enjoy, then there's not going to be harmony or balance in that either. So I think it's important to not be one way or another way, unless it's all goodness, like it's loves and it's hugs, you know, keep that up straight. But when it comes to these rules and these regulations we put on ourselves, that's when we can have downfalls and that's when we can feel stress and strain and it can um, kind of overload us in an energetic sense. So if you're a raw foodist and you're doing your thing all the time, that's a blessing because I'm right there and it, it always feels magnificent and true deep healing. But if you feel like cooking a potato or a squash, then do it up. I'm sure it's a rare occasion. And you should enjoy because this is still beautiful bounty from our God's beautiful vibrational earth. So I hope that this recipe connected with you and uh, you can check this out at home and use some variations. You could also do this with spaghetti squash, any type of pumpkin or other uh, types of squashes. Play around, uh, use the spices that connect with you. Um, just make sure that you have moisture going on. You might want to cook it in a bath of water or like I did, bring in the moisture within so that it will really help absorb, absorb that. So it will be, um, nice and moist on the inside, but not dried out. So it's all about, uh, the balance and I think you'll find it. So a Merry Christmas 2020 and a Merry Beautiful Day if we are, uh, past this date on the calendar anyhow. So love and light always. I appreciate all the support and viewers of my channel. Subscribe, like, and share. And remember, if you have any questions, please write me. I'll do my best to give you whatever input I can or direct you toward uh, another location, which might be, be able to help you better. Because it's all about getting to that good place where we feel groovy and we are absolutely ascending in a higher vibration and we're not having these challenges and difficulties that are put upon us from the external world we are taking care of everything within and it starts with oh i always forget fruit love ya thank you so much bye